Here's a look at all of the Georgia counties that have confirmed cases of coronavirus. In all, state officials say at least 12 Georgia residents tested positive for the disease. So far, only six of those have been federally confirmed. Now we have team coverage tonight on the response to the growing outbreak. CBS 46's Ayana Crystal keeping tabs on dozens of cruise ship passengers who will be transferred to Dobbins Air Reserve Base and our Haley Mason is in Morgan County where the state is now preparing an isolation location. Let's start though with Jamie Kennedy who just got an update from the governor, Jamie. Well, Sean, yeah, just a short time ago, Governor Brian Kemp telling everyone the latest on the coronavirus in the state. So he said that there are six confirmed cases and six presumptive cases. Now, the latest presumptive case was a South Korean individual who came into the airport last night. They say that he exhibited coronavirus symptoms on the plane. He was identified by CDC officials at the airport and now is being quarantined at the moment. Now, Dr. Toomey, who heads up the Governor's Coronavirus Task Force. She spoke about how the DPH has been looking at around 50 to 60 possible coronavirus tests that their laboratory has come through now, but has said that the CDC is the only one who can actually confirm cases. Now, the governor went on to speak as well about the 34 Georgians and other East Coast nationals that are coming in to Dobbins Air Base, where Ayana Crystal is at. And he said that the 34 Georgians, they will be self-quarantined at their homes and the DPH will be the ones that are monitoring them. Now the other East Coast nationals coming into Dobbins Airport, they will be the ones that are staying at that air base there. Now we all also went on to talk about how if anyone needs to stay away from large crowds. We are not yet advising the cancellation of large public events, but we are, we are calling on Georgians to follow these revised guidelines to mitigate risk and keep people safe as possible. As the cases become more numerous across the country, we are definitely going to see more cases here in Georgia. Thanks to the efforts of countless hardworking officials across all levels of government, we are ready. Now, those people they are talking about to stay away though from the large crowds, as directed from the CDC, are people 80 years and older. The elderly are the ones who are the highest at risk. I asked the governor's people about the NCAA tournament and they are waiting to respond to me at the moment. For now, that's the latest at the Capitol Live for CBS 46 News. Jamie Kennedy, send it back to you. All right, Jamie, thank you for that update.